up? Just did a video probably an hour and a half ago about my top 10 favorite Pokemon moves uh, and got me thinking at the very end of it I mentioned that I would probably do a top 10 favorite Pokemon <clears throat> so I've decided to do that and um, now these are my personal favorites not anything that you know not everybody should be like oh well that's not a good Pokemon or you know, oh, I despise that, why would you say that, or, you know, it has no strategic value, so why are you using it, or why is it your favorite? Personal. You know, I have reasons, I'm not going to get into some of the reasons on some, but, you know, I'm going to at least talk about some of my reasons, and just like my last video, and there's not going to be any special cutscenes or displays or nothing, it's just going to be me talking, so, you're going to have to get past that, I guess. Um, so I'm going to start this number 10, and it's probably going to surprise a lot of people, and people are going to question it. Uh, Rattata. Uh, Rattata, however you want to pronounce it. I remember when it first came out, Pokemon was pronounced a lot different than they are now, and Rattata and Rattata, it was originally pronounced Rattata. I remember that vividly, because I have it on a VHS tape, and some of you don't know what those are. Some of you do, the ones who do, that you're going to realize, yeah... I'm going to look back into that and see. Um, I still pronounce it Radita, but nowadays it's being pronounced Rattata, so. But uh, number 10 is, that's why it's on the list. Uh, <clears throat> not because of the mispronunciation or the change. Um, and a lot of people are going to wonder why it's on the list with the 253 base stat. It's not very strong, but you can catch it early on. It's evolution eradicate very good Pokemon to use in certain aspects, uh, you know. But the uh, number one reason why I like Rattata the best is it does have a very, very strong uh, strategic value to it uh, in that if you're going up against a legendary Pokemon, take a level one Rattata with you and make sure it knows an Endeavor and Quick Attack and it's holding a Focus Sash because it cannot... Uh, the focus sash is immediately going to leave it with one HP. Endeavor is going to take the opponent down to one HP, and if you wanted to destroy it, quick attack is the reason for it. So it's actually very strategic in certain aspects. If but once it reaches you know <clears throat> a specific level, it's not really worth having around anymore. Um, but yeah, Rattata, Rattata, whichever you want to pronounce it, number ten. Uh, number nine, uh, again, personal favorites, uh, is Drapion. Um, you know, I like Drapion because, you know, you know, Diamond and Pearl, when it came out, you know, the shows, you see the antagonist Paul using it, and its strength made me think it was stronger than it actually was, which gave me that false sense of, you know, security with it. So I attempted to catch one, and I finally caught one, you know, that's a uh, Skroopy. Evolved into Drapion, everybody just demolished me. They literally took me down so quickly with it, and I couldn't figure out why. Uh, it has a 500 base stat, so it's really good stat-wise. It's not the worst, but it's not the best, but it's, you know, decent. Um, and it's Dark Poison type, you know, it's really strong, you know, good combination. <clears throat> and then I realized, you know, going to Gen 6, you know, in the Kalos region... I actually found a good idea of how I wanted to do it, and I had been working on it through Black and White, Black, White, and 2. So, you know, it, uh, I found out that, you know, having a battle armor ability uh, with Hone Claws, Toxic Spikes, Night Slash, and Double Team actually is a very good moveset combination. It really does work pretty good. Uh, you know, use two, use Toxic Spikes twice. Hone Claws twice, and then Night Slash, and you pretty much got everything taken care of, because the Toxic sp Spikes are going to poison your opponent, but you use it twice, it's just like Toxic, so it's like every time your opponent comes into the field, it's going to be poisoned badly if you use two of them. Hone Claws is going to increase your accuracy and attack, and Night Slash is going to just take the stab and destroy everything in its way, so that's the reason why I got it on my list, is because I've been you know using it more and more. Uh, number eight, Spirit Tomb. I know a lot of people are thinking Spirit Tomb is not as good as Pokemon as most people think. Um, it really isn't anymore. Uh, 
back in Gen 4 and 5 was the only Pokemon to have. Even with the 485 base stat, it was the Pokemon to have. Because the Dark and Ghost combo made it virtually in... in you couldn't beat it. You just could not beat it. And it's pretty badass looking, in my opinion, unless you're talking about the you know, shiny aspect of Spiritomb. I don't really care for it, but Spiritomb in general, I'm still a big fan of it. I still want it on my team, but I know it's not that great in Gen 6, you know, because the weaknesses, you know, there's now more weaknesses than there were, uh... You know, and everything's, you know, back, more balanced out, so the Dark Ghost combo is really not. And I thought Sableye wasn't going to get on this list, too, until I realized, you know, its base stat was far lower than Spirit Tombs. It has no evolution, it has real no base value, but up until then, I didn't even realize Sableye was worth putting on a team in Gen 3 until, you know, black and white. And I saw it and I thought, well, that's Dark Ghost, it's like Spirit Tomb. It's not, it's just not that good. <clears throat> Number seven is Cryogonal. And a lot of people are going to be like, why Cryogonal? You know, it's a dark, or it's an ice type. You know, you'd think that it would have a different, I figured it was, I knew it was ice type just by looking at it. But I figured it had a secondary type. But the reason why it's, you know, on my list, there's really nothing special about it other than the fact that it's a 1% chance of you running into it in Gen 4. Is it Gen 4? Whatever, yeah, Gen 4. Uh, maybe Gen 5. You know, I don't really care. I'm tired. Anyway, um, but pretty much there's really nothing about Cryogonal other than the fact that there's that 1% chance that you're going to run into it. And you could run into it one time, knock it out, and faint it, and then spend four or five hours trying to find another. Um, I played for six hours straight before I even ran into one. And by that time, I was—I just said, screw this. And I ran from the fight because I was so used to it. Because I wasn't realizing when I came up across. But that's why I've got him on my list. Is because, you know, I, I like the badass look of it. And there's really nothing special about it. So I'm not going to say much more about him. Uh, number six on my list, Tyranitar. Uh, Pseudo-legendary. I love the way it looks. The dark rock, you know, type combo. It's got powerful attack. Uh, it's, you know, 600 base stat. And like I said, pseudo-legendary. You know, a lot of people, they were like, oh, well, there's nothing special about those pseudo-legendaries. You know, I've run gambits like that, you know, through Gen 4 and 5, you know, using nothing but, you know, pseudo-legendary. I traded everything I could around, tried to get him access to it for uh, Gen 6. And with the Kalos region, it just did not work. Uh, there's a lot more problems, so. But Tyranitar, just the look on it, just the look of it, and everything, reason why it's on my list. Uh, next, Sneasel and Weavile. Come on, number five. They're kind of, uh, they, I had to weigh them together because I wanted to put one on, I wanted to put them both on the list. But, you know, since they evolved from, Weavile evolved from Sneasel, it didn't seem right putting it higher or lower, so. Um, but both Ice, Dark. Um, they're may they're immensely fast for a lot of for a lot of this. Like the reasoning behind it, I don't understand. Like they hit first almost every time I've ever used them. It's got a decent move pool. The ice dark combos decent. You know, Sneasel's four thirty. You know, base stat is you know relatively high for a you know first evolution or. And, you know anything like that, but when it you know evolves to Weavile, it goes to five ten, which is for a dark type. You know, slightly higher than my Drapion that I have on the list. You know, ages of. I mean, it's, I'm just at a loss for words. I really am. There's nothing else I really can say about it because it's just one of the highest dark type and ice types that I've ever used. So. Number three, four, three, no four. Number four is Metagross, pseudo legendary again, six hundred base stat. It's got one hell of a move pool. You know, it's got great defense, great attack. It's a psychic steel type, so you know it's going to defend against some things. You know, prior to Gen six, 
you know, steel and dark types, you know, ran a lot of, you know, the thing. Psychic really didn't have much to it, you know, but now with the integration of Psychic and Steel as a combo, it really worked out. And Bronzong would have been on this list had it not been for the fact that I just don't like the idea of a giant bell. Never have, never will. <clears throat> but, uh, number three, and this one actually, and oddly enough, all of these are, I'm talking Gen 6, you know, from the first gen to Gen 6. Not a single Gen 6 Pokemon, just like with my list about the moves. Not a single move from Gen 6. Um, but number three actually gave me, is the reason for, from Gen 6, is Gyarados. Uh, it's a flying water type. I don't understand why it's flying water. You know, but it don't really matter. The 540 base stat is, like, you get that at the beginning after level 20 from a Magic Carp. Something that's insignificant to something so powerful that you can pretty much demolish anything from any game. Um, it's very, very hard to take down. Um, best moveset that I've ever seen on it. And this is where, you know, Gen 6 came in to play that I started using. Um, one of the movesets was Aqua Tail and Thunder Wave in prior, you know. But because of Gen 6, I realized Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Aqua Tail, and Thunder Wave are about the best moveset you could ever have with a Gyarados. So, and that's if you're not using the Mega Evolution with it. So even with the Mega Evolution, you still have the, you know, a great moveset. <clears throat> Number two is Embor. And, you know, it's... The weakest base, it has the weakest base stats of all the fire Pokemon, but it's got the most diverse move set. Like, literally, it has the base set is 528, the others are 530 and above. So, it's got the lowest. In fact, Gen 5 had the lowest base stats of all uh, you know, starter Pokemon. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things. But, uh, like I said, it's got reasons number two, it's its moveset. It's just too diverse. And the fact that I like it the most is the fact that it learns Scald. Fire Pokemon using water. It's interesting, but, you know, it's the fact that I don't see why other water po or other fire Pokemon can't learn Scald. Is be I just don't understand it, but Embor seems to be able to do it, and it's the only one that can. So... Anyway, number one was a tie, and I know as soon as I say this first one, your guys are probably going to scream that watch this, you're going to be screaming at me from why it's my favorite Pokemon. My all-time favorite Pokemon is a Zubat. I can hear you guys screaming already. Zubat is my all-time favorite Pokemon, and there's no question it's my favorite Pokemon ever, like... I seriously have considered getting a Zubat tattoo just for the simple fact that it's my favorite Pokemon. And it's been that way ever since Gen 1. So, um, you know, most people, it's because it's the most hated Pokemon in the game. You know, you go into a cave and there's fucking 10,000 Zubats everywhere. And now you got this guy, me, talking that it's my favorite Pokemon. It's my favorite Pokemon. It won't ever change. Um, one reason why I like it so much now, opposed to before, because I absolutely hate Golbat. Golbat is the worst Pokemon, in my opinion. I hate it. But the reason why I like it so much nowadays is Crobat. Crobat is the, it's, you know, it's evolution into Crobat. It goes from a base 245 to a base 3, or 535. So, uh, Crobat is like the fastest Pokemon I've used in my team. But I'd rather use it as a Zubat, even with the... But it's got a good, you know, it's it's my own opinion. So, you know, you can hate me on that. You can hate on that. It's just my favorite Pokemon, you know. I know people whose favorite Pokemon is Magikarp, you know. Could you imagine me saying that was my favorite Pokemon? God, that would have sucked. Anyway, <clears throat> you can like my comment, or like it, comment, rate it, share it, subscribe to me. I don't care. Uh, I just do this because I'm bored. Look for a job and board, so Pokemon is a passion of mine, I like it, you know. So I've got other ideas of videos I'm gonna do, but like I said, the main reason is this is just gonna be a face to face. So like I said, rate, comment, like, share, subscribe.
Peace.